All right, guys. So a bunch of you guys have asked, what do I use for PvE? Um, and currently I'm playing on the Barb. So with the addition to the new update and the Hell 8 exclusive legendary gear that drops, I'm here to show you what I am currently running is a uh, six-piece uh, Vithu set. So it's just to keep my beneficial effects going. Yeah, there's a gem out of here. But to overall show you, I'm going to hide my webcam. Just so you can see, six-piece Vithus. I am also running the new Bitter Wind uh, legendary. So Whirlwind now drafts on the power of wind. I'm overall using the secondary for causing your wrath to burn enemies so you're constantly creating that tick damage whirlwind uh, now pulls enemies in you can also swap this out with uh, the chest piece where you shred armor that works as well but this whole build is built around open world farming so i have a lot of sprint duration so we have the headpiece for sprint duration and then the new legendary shoulders sprint leaves a wind tunnel in your wake allowing allies to pass through it to gain 30 percent increased movement speed and also wearing the pants that also increase movement speed by nearby out for nearby allies my mastery level is maxed out barb is one of the main characters I have played next to Necro. So if we look at our skills to look over just the sprint. So sprint now increases movement speed of nearby allies by 40% sprint cooldown reduced by 7.2. That is from the mastery sprint cooldown decreased by 10%. That is from my gem being ranked 10 awakened. Then we have sprint duration increased by 39%. S sprint cooldown decreased by 10%. So once again, here's the awakening. Here's from the mastery level. Then we have sprint leaves a wind tunnel in your wake, allowing allies to pass through it to gain 30% movement speed for two seconds. Sprint cooldown reduced by 3.6. That's the awakening or the mastery level and sprint cooldown decreased by 10%. So you basically have 100% uptime on your sprint. You also have 100% uptime on your Wrath of Berserker. Uh, my burn damage increased by 18% because of the mastery level being maxed out. 10% cooldown because of the awakening I have increased on the charm. And then obviously standard whirlwind gets the 18 increased percent damage from the mastery whirlwind energy is consumed 10 percent slower whirlwind pulls in it's a whirlwind reduced energy consumption from the awakening and uh also whirlwind energy consumed 10 percent slower so as you can see you can basically whirlwind for quite a long time so what I end up doing is I'll hit my sprint, I'll run around, and I'll whirlwind and tag mobs. If I'm doing it solo, I'll actually kill all the mobs. I'll also use my frenzy, just auto attack. Um, but if I'm part of the group, I'll try and stay ahead of the group so they can run in my wind tunnel. And what I'm going to show you here on the next portion is where we were. I was running Realm of Damnation. Easiest way to farm XP kill streaks, and this was during Vault. So you see some immortals doing the same thing as they're getting pulled in. But I just start gaining a kill streak, start out at 17. We go through, end up just losing the kill streak once, and then never losing it again until I finally get yes. teleport out a of there. Full pay and it was 10 stunned. bestiaries so get, be to turn in. At, I don't know, about, you know, it looked like 264 kills. Two people came to Realm, asked to join the party. 
Orange so I joined them. They stayed with me till the very end, till I decided to leave the group. But I was doing this to actively gain at least a level because obviously I haven't hit 600 Paragon. This is just what I'm doing to overall keep them using all my sprint anytime it's up, popping my wrath whenever needed to just tag those mobs, keeping this kill streak alive. Right. And we actually got it not longer than most, but we did get like a 1600 kill streak before I pulled off. If I really wanted to keep going, I could have, but it was super late for me after a 12 hour shift. So I ended up just going, keep, kills. kept running. I was missing like one or two bestiaries. We spawned a couple ancients. Managed to get a Lego or two He's... to drop randomly or from He's... the ancient. But once I finally got the mastery, I gotta do it for me. For my bestiaries, Three. 10 drops. I eventually did one more final loop just so I would keep the chain going. Obviously, my inventory's full and ended up running all the way out. And right here is where I actually ended up getting the level. 16, 40. 14 was the kill streak. Super easy to keep going with this new bar PVE build. Even before oh, that, I was on. still there using Sprint, Burn, Bam, and 130, Whirlwind, but it's nice to be able to give X that yeah. overall boost of damage to get that bestiary page. And this is what I also use for dungeons, but I do swap out for uh instead of wearing the current chess piece i do here. swap out and change oh. it over to the shreds armor just to help with damage occasionally i can just run my pvp build where i swap and throw whirlwind on there and i have war cry so increased damage but effectively this is a really nice open world farm build you're constantly this wind tunnel is really great and if you once again look at this skill 40 percent to nearby allies plus a 39 percent duration with 30 percent increased movement so that's over 70 percent increased movement speed as long as they're also running through your tunnel and you're in a group uh, for the active buffs, obviously you're not running at 70%, but they're keeping and you're moving effectively a lot faster than you would be just running your normal sprint and just having sprint duration. Um, it works for all residence levels. I tested it on my alt. Uh, when my alt was a barb, I did actively use this. Um, obviously not the new legendaries for that, but I did do a sprint whirlwind build and would just farm kill streaks, barbarian, monk, and wizard seem to be the best classes to keep up a kill streak. Necro can, uh, if you run pets, you can constantly throw your pets to keep tagging mobs, but to be able to kill and uh, consistently keep up the streak. I definitely got to say Barb, hands down, is one of the easiest to do it. And if you guys like this build, you can tell me about any other PvE builds that you might use for raids. I do do a different build as well. If you want to know my raids build, I can uh, tell you what I do for that. But for the purpose of open world farming and getting killstreak farms, this is the build I use and i hope you guys like this video i hope you comment down below tell me what you think tell me if you use this tell me what you use and look forward to seeing more videos coming out in the uh next few days uh tomorrow i'll be doing a collab with chosen talking about d4 and what we both thought about it um, he is a YouTube content creator. He streams on YouTube. He also streams on Twitch as well. He's been doing it for about 15 years. So look forward to seeing that video come out tomorrow. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, just so you can get the latest videos as I post them. And I hope to see you guys in the next video or popping into my Twitch stream. See you guys.
Bye.